Hi YouTube. I know it's Friday, not Thursday, when I usually do the cocktail update. But yesterday I had a busy day, routine, doctor's appointment, and then as soon as I got back, I had to get ready to film um, with another model. So this just went out the window. Then costume change, wardrobe, the whole thing. So I thought I'd save it for today. So back in the kitchen. Um, I hope the light's good for you. And I'm making a Bloody Mary today. Kind of a rip off on Jack's. If you saw my uh, cocktail video from last week, this is my take on his recipe. So I'm gonna start with a goblet glass, which I happen to like, which would be better if it were a clear glass um, so that you could see the Bloody Mary mix in it. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna rub lemon all around the edge and then I'm gonna dip into all the way around the edge, Old Bay. And if you don't know what Old Bay is, it's great in melted butter, put some of this in and dip hot shrimp in it. It's great. It's, well, I'll read you what it is. It's Old Bay seasoning for seafood, poultry, salads, whatever you want. It's a great taste. So next, I'm gonna add ice all the way to the top. This is a big glass, and my daughter gave this to me years ago for Christmas. And I used to have six of them, as I said, used to. And, oh, I forgot something. Wait a minute, I'll be right back. Oh, it's right behind me. Um, a jigger. Now, as I said to you, this is a little different. It's not made with vodka. It's made with wine. And this is a big glass, so I'm going to use the bigger side of the jigger and just some good white rum. Now, of course, if you don't like rum in your bloody, just put in a jigger of vodka. It's really simple. And then you're gonna fill the glass up. This is, sometimes I use um, Clamato, but I saw this in the grocery store and it's called Arriba Spicy Chilada Clam and Sea Salt. It might be too spicy for me, but we're gonna find out. Live life a little, try something different, right? So fill it up. Leave a little room in there for all the goodies. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of, this is different, confectionery sugar. And I'm just using swirls, but you could use regular confectionery sugar. So I'm gonna put about half a teaspoon in here. We don't want it too sweet. And then I'm going to add a generous portion, about a teaspoon of fish radish. Now, all of these things you can vary on your own. And of course, Worcestershire. I'm gonna give it a couple of jiggers. Now if I go, when I drink it, you'll know that this is too spicy and you wanna use Clamato. Next, some celery salt, just a shake. A little grind of black pepper. And of course, some Tabasco. And this you can use to your own taste. I just gave it a couple, since I don't know how hot this is. And then, I've already cut these, a squeeze. A good amount of lemon. 
and give it a good stir. You could have put this all in a shaker, get some ice in the shaker. I'm going to have a little sip from here and see what that's like. Oh, well the mix itself is not that hot kind of creeps up on you. <laughs> so it's spicy enough. We don't add, need to add any more tomato juice. And if you've ever seen them, some of these restaurants have this big long skewer and they have shrimp and they have kibasa and they have this and they have that. They have a million things or a big piece of celery. For me, you can skip the celery. I'm going to put blue cheese olive on here. I'm going to put a slice of lemon and then I'm going to put another blue cheese olive and then just kind of poke it on the side there like that. Actually, probably what we could do is there. Uh, and that bigger skewer would be great because then it would stay better. So there it is, a Bloody Mary. You can see it's a Bloody Mary. Let me try it. And you're gonna get the Old Bay as you sip the rib. Now, if you don't like it, just leave it off. Mmm. Delish. Now, I'm not a lush. I might have a cocktail every day. Some days, I have none. And what I've done because I'm watering down. Ooh, with the old bay, that's zippy. I have to have some Diet Coke over here, so I'm gonna do this. Mm. Okay, before my tongue catches on fire. So, Bacardi, Clamato. If you hate Clamato, you can use any kind of tomato. You don't need to buy a, a Bloody Mary mix. You can make it yourself. Just get some tomato juice and this around the rim is up to your choice you could do a lot of different things on the rim you could use the rock salt you could do all kinds of things and i used a couple of spins of ground pepper a couple of shots of worcestershire about a half a teaspoon of horseradish and i think i was worried that it was going to be too hot i think you want to add a little more I happen to like horseradish. If you don't like horseradish, don't put it in. Let's give it a stir. I'm gonna take this out so this doesn't get in the way. Should I mix this up ahead of time and try it? I could have. I didn't want to waste a lot of stuff because I would have I would not have done too. And I'm not gonna have this now. This will be later with dinner. Once in a while, if I'm flying, um, before I get on the plane, or maybe even sometimes on the plane, it depends. Like when I'm going out to my uh, razors, brazzers, I should say, shoots. Kind of fun. Let's see if that helped at all. I can see it in there. Yeah, I like it with a little more horseradish. Okay, what am I wearing? Well, the jewelry is definitely a throwback. This is from Chico's, and I bought it a long time ago. But this is a new dress, and it's a sundress. Tight, fits. I'll turn around so you can see the back. It has a slit right up the side, and I'm gonna scoop right up here so you can see the heels. They're from H&M years ago, and yes, those have like crushed rubies on the heels. So that they'd be kind of fun to wear. So send me your requests. Let me know what you'd like to make for you next week. I'm sorry I didn't get it to you on Thursday, but sooner. No, later. Love you all. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and follow and leave your comments. Namaste.